Hey, welcome back, Cloud Scholars. I hope your day is going well. My name is Kieran Tross, and I'm here with another how-to video for you. In today's video, we're going to be talking about policy analyzers, uh, using that to uh, look and see exactly how your group policies are set up and configured within your environment. This can help you with you know, identifying any redundant policies, group policies that you have configured, or any policies that are missing certain configurations, like they may be set up, but they do not, aren't set up for audit mode. Uh, so this way you can have the right login to uh, make sure that you are uh, keeping track of what's going on within your environment. But in order to get the Microsoft uh, uh, Policy Analyzer, you have to use the Microsoft Security Compliance Toolkit. You have to download that. So the Microsoft Security Toolkit uh, basically is a configuration of uh, multiple um, different um, items that you can use within your environment. Um, so they give you baseline security configurations for like your Windows 11, Windows 10, so on and so forth. But what we're going to be really concentrating on in this video is the Microsoft uh, Policy Analyzer. So if you go to your browser, you can Google uh, Microsoft Security Compliance Toolkit uh, download. I'm also gonna put it in the description of the video as well. So I'm um, here already, I'm gonna click download and what we're really concentrate on is this analyzer, policy analyzer, but I'm just gonna go ahead and download everything. So I'm just gonna click okay um, and let's see if it allows me to, and there we go, we are in download mode. So um, what I wanna do is I wanna kind of extract everything into this documents folder that I have here, security toolkit that's gonna have everything in it. Um, so I have everything here um, just for safekeeping, but I'm really concerned about this policy analyzer. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna policy analyzer, and right here you have all your different files that you're gonna really be working on. Okay, so now that I have it, um, I've, I just extracted it, and right here, this is the, this is the uh, uh, application so I'm going to keep this open but what I need to do first is I need to go to my group policy objects and what I want to do is I want to get a backup of some of my group policy objects so what I'll do is um, I have two group policy objects that I'm really uh, I want to show you exactly how they compare um, because basically what this is supposed to do is say hey um, you have certain configurations right, where, you know, things are redundant, right? So uh, if I go to the Microsoft definition about what Microsoft, what the policy analyzer does, and I'm gonna pull out the four main things that the policy analyzer is supposed to help us out with. So the main features are, uh, they highlight when a set of group policies have redundant settings or inconsistencies, uh, highlight the difference between versions or sets of group policies, uh, compare GPOs against current local policies and local registry settings, and then also you're able to export results to a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So let's put it into action. Let's see exactly how well this thing really works that Microsoft created. So I'm going to create, I have two policies that are pretty much conflicted. Um, so basically it's a screen lock GPO, which is uh, interactive logon machine and activity limit. Uh, I'm basically setting that to, not basically, I've set it to 10 minutes. And then I have another GPO, which is in question, which is the no lockout time GPO. So this one says uh, it's interactive as well. Uh, it says do not require control or delete. And then also it has a machine in activity uh, 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 limit, which is set to five minutes. So this one is set to 10 minutes. And then this one is set to five minutes. But on top of that is also saying, hey, do not require control or delete. So I wanna see exactly what the policy analyzer will come up with when it sees both of those um, uh, GPOs. All right, so back over here at the screen, which is kind of messy, so let me close some of these screens out. Um, what I want to do is I'm going to say a new folder, uh, GPO backups, and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to my GPOs. So I have a bunch of GPOs here. So this one, this one, I want. So I want to go here. I want to say backup. Uh, location, let's drop it in this PC, documents, and GPO backups. Okay, and then I'm just going to back that up. And then no lockout time, I'm going to say backup. Uh, GPO backups is already there, and just back that thing up right there. And then um, I could just do the default domain policy, which is perfectly fine. I can see exactly what comes up there as well. And I'm going to back that one up as well. 
So if I come here, I have my backups over here. Cool. So the next thing that we need to do is now go ahead and try to add them to our policy analyzer. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm click on add and file, add from GPOs. Um, and this is one of the reasons why I did it this way because I don't wanna go through that whole digging through the GPOs. And I'm just gonna do a select folder. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna click on import and then I'll just call it something as uh, my uh, GPOs and I'll click save. Okay, so now that we have that in there, what I can do is I'm going to say um, view and compare. And then once I view and compare it, um, you'll see that it'll start coming up and you'll see here it comes up with the my GPO because that's what I called it. And there's a conflict. So it says inactivity timeout second. So it's letting me know exactly what's going on here. So if you come down here on this section, uh, it might be a little hard to read. I'm going to zoom in. But it says security settings, local policy, security options, and then it says machine inactivity limit. Machine activity limit, and it lets me know, it says options, it says um, there's one for 300 seconds, right? No lockout time. And then also gives me the GPO here, which is a conflict, this is saying for 600 seconds. So um, I wanted to make this a very short and sweet video just to kind of show you about um, the policy analyzer and certain things that you can do with your policy analyzer and let you know exactly what's coming up. But it's giving me one conflict at the moment. But other than that, um, everything uh, else seems like it's it's pretty good um, uh, the way it's set up at the moment. So this was a short and sweet video for you guys, a real quick how-to for policy analyzers within your environment so this way you can manage your GPOs. So as always, I hope the information I provided you was um, beneficial. Um, if you haven't done it already, please smash that like and subscribe button uh, here at Cloud Scholars. Our goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.